So this is for people criticizing Chiamaka Ugo. I don't see why they are criticizing her. If Chiamaka comes out and say that oh, the social media is too toxic because that is the language she's using, that the social media is too toxic, she's going to leave social media for people. And a lot of people are coming out to say that she's insulting her fans and all that. I think it's the way she's feeling right now because a lot of people are coming for her because of the case of Alice. Why did she arrest Alice? And some people are using her as example of Sonia TV. That that was how Sonia TV started. And look at Sonia TV now. Where is Sonia TV? and all that so right now for chiamaka she said a lot of things that she has been collecting a lot of hate speech that has been collecting a lot of buzzbows and people are saying what she was doing that she's insulting her fans and without her fans there is no chiamaka ugu yes without her fans there is no chiamaka ugu but one thing we should remember is that chiamaka is also a human being she's feeling her own part of the heat in as much as the fans are feeling the heat chiamaka is also feeling the heat i think what chiamaka should do is not to insult her fans she's supposed to try as much as possible not to insult her fans and that is what me i'm saying and that is some period you understand but right now you people might not know what chiamaka ugo is going through people are coming to say that every time that chiamaka some people are saying chiamaka is too proud yes i've heard that over a million times that she is too proud that let her calm down that every time she'll be saying that she's married to a billionaire her husband is a rich man her, her, her brothers are politicians her uncles are politicians good she have a family that are doing well for herself i don't think that should cause for envy or anything but for me chair makai you know that your fans made you Coming out to insult your fans is a no-no because if you lose these fans today, that means you've lost the Chiamaka, uh, you've lost the Chiamaka Ugo brand. That is a brand you build this brand, brand from the you build this brand from the scratch. And so people are saying it's all scripted. Even if it's scripted, people are actually finding true love. I've known somebody that found true love through that Chiamaka's on a reality show that he's doing. Some people are saying it's scripted. Some people are saying it's RNG. Some people are saying a cameraman exposed her. That is why she arrested Alice and the rest. Chia Maka will go have come out to say that she has seen firsthand how people have been bullied, that she has been bullied on social media, that she has been misinterpreted, that a lot of people are jealous of her, that she has seen real jealousy on this space of social media, like she is human and all that. But right now, she is also feeling it. And there's something she wrote. She wrote that anybody that wants to bring her down, as in anybody that wants to bring down her effort, that the person will not make it in life. That is her fans she's talking about. And that is the more reason why most of her fans are coming out to tell her that, Auntie, for the fact that you're insulting us, you will go down like, oh, is it Mary Jane or Jane TV and all that? But I'm like, it's at the heat of the moment. People should please forgive Chiamaka Ugo. She did not say that out of her heart she's saying that because of she said according to her, i say people have been cursing her there's so much jealousy that there's so much hate she doesn't even know where the hate is coming from is it because she's a successful young lady is it her fault that she's successful is it her fault that she's rich is it her fault that she's married to a rich man but one thing true i want to tell you is that people that are rich they don't used to make noise chiamaka ugo one thing you should know is that both the bad comments, the good comments are also part of interaction. Uh, YouTube see it or Facebook see it as part of interruption and it works for you. When people come and comment, bad comment, good comment, take it and work with it. It's part of the thing. If you don't want all these bad comments and good comments, I would advise you to leave social media, which I know you will not do. You understand? Because you build this brand, you build it so far, and there are people there that will surely want to bring you down. That's some period. So right now, I want to tell Chiamaka Ogoda, some of your fans still love you. We love you. I appreciate the effort. It's not easy to put content back to back almost every day. If it is, maybe I'll run now. Chiamaka Ogoda, want to tell you we appreciate you. On behalf of Chiamaka Ogoda and their fans, we want to say it's one of those things they used to call her. No need for you people to lay curses on her. And no need for Chiamaka to lay curses on her fans. Chiamaka, please lend the heart way you are you you are a content creator people will surely come for you and vice versa see you guys later in my next episode please put your comment in the comment section below let's know what's up bye for now